Hey Nomes and welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a journal with me for you guys today. This is going to be a mix of different dates that are very old. Um, so this, yeah, so it's not like these were, um, you know, together. This is just kind of what's been happening, I guess, other than my break. So we're starting off on April 14th. That was Sebastian's birthday. So I printed some pictures on my sprocket that we took at a restaurant called Rocco's Tacos that we went to and if you've never been there and you live in Florida and there is one decently close to you I would go just because of the environment um I got fish tacos which I will never get again so that was just my mistake I'm pretty sure their food is good though um but yeah so we just went there for his birthday and our families went together um it was fun so I am backing up these pictures with some I'm gonna say these kind of look like birthday stickers to me just because of the how colorful and like that polka dot one is like confetti looking so that I just put them behind just to represent birthday you know and then I pulled out a bunch of stickers prior to filming so that makes it a lot easier for me um I used to not like doing that because then I would feel forced to use all those stickers but I've come to the realization that I feel more forced when I'm when I have all of my stickers away and I have to choose which one I want to use. Does that make any sense? I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, but I just pulled out all these stickers beforehand. So, And then I had this little birthday sheet from Alicia, and so I'm just using those because, obviously, I'm not going to use them. Um, and then these are from um, Square Lime Designs, and I've just some birthday stickers. I ended up not using them just because of how cute they were. I didn't want to use them up. Um, these are from Studio Calico, these word stickers. I've had them for a, a while now, and I'm just, I'm really, really, like, I like, where am I? I, I like having, um, word stickers like these that, like, say, like, I love you or love this moment and stuff like that, because you can use them on every page, right? So, and then I'm just using the Chrissy Ann Designs, um, Days of the Week, and I'm just putting it in there. My journal is getting so chunky, guys. Like, I know... I haven't been in it but it's still super chunky and it's so hard to write on and it's hard to get in like the corners and stuff it's starting to get uh, difficult to um journal in but you know so then I'm just going through all my other different kind of word stickers to fill in gaps and just add a couple of cute touches so yeah let's see and some hearts of course yeah these um stickers kind of I just have in my my sticker binder that I've showed before um they're all just I go through that and then I go through my my sticker books to choose if that makes sense so yeah but anyways happy belated birthday Sebastian <laughs> everyone wish him a happy birthday even though that was like two or three weeks ago now so it's fine <laughs> he's 18 so that's cool um and so the next page this is I'm not journaling for a specific day. This is just kind of an update, I guess. So I had these two images from um, a kid at the daycare who drew that for me. That's me. And then another picture is me because they got in trouble. And I had to, I had to not yell at them. I had to scold them because they were not listening and stuff. So they, they made me sorry notes. Um, <laughs> and so they drew that for me, um, VPK. And so... I put those in there to represent them because after after this picture, um, they had the whole class had to be quarantined at home for fourteen days, which is heartbreaking. Um, obviously, um, I hated it because wait, not fourteen days. I don't know how long actually. I'm, I don't want to lie, but anyway, so I was just super sad about that because a kid did a, a kid did test positive. Luckily, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't close to him for longer than 15 minutes, but, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was rough. It was a rough week just cause like they're my favorite in the daycare. So not being with them just made me upset. Um, now I am with them. This is, this is after the quarantine. Now I am with them and they've been very, very bad. So I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's like you miss them when they're gone, but when they get here, you're like, hmm, never mind. You can, you can leave. Anyway, so I'm just using the simple stories quarantine sticker sheet to put in a bunch of, um, like corona stickers um by the way the kid who did get covid he just threw up um and then he said that he was fine like he said that he um he went to his grandma's house 
during his quarantine and they like played outside and stuff so I don't know I guess I don't know I guess I guess it was okay I and mean, hopefully his grandma's okay um I use or I am using a journaling card um from Studio Calico to uh I did a little bit of journaling on the back and then I'm putting some more stickers on the front of it um so yeah these stickers are really really nice they're like really good quality stickers like if that makes sense oh, I feel like I want to burp excuse me I just had breakfast so let's see what else oh of course the hearts of course yeah I was really sad that week um I miss them a lot but they're back now and they're and they're being they're acting up <laughs> I'll tell you that much um, and so this image is from a Breathe magazine, and I wanted to journal about my break um, and how kind of stressful school has been recently. It's not stressful. I only have two classes, and my English class is the easiest class I've ever had my entire high school career. But um, math is really is really kicking to me. I'm like, I had a test yesterday. I'm not gonna tell you what I got on it, but let's just say I didn't do too hot. So my grade just keeps dropping, and so it's just really, it's just not fun. Um, so I've been trying to focus on that class a lot more and study and then, you know, kind of relax my free time without stressing about it. So, yeah. But usually I, I've just been working a lot, um, so then when I get home I'm really tired and then I don't feel like journaling. So that, that's basically what's been happening. Nothing, nothing too crazy. <clears throat> but... So this girl is like, you know, sitting like, yeah, like that, you know, just like kind of stressed and, you know, I don't know what you would call her. Um, and so that bubble of color is supposed to be like my journaling and my photography and all the things that I love to do and stuff. And it's just like kind of floating over my head and it's making me feel guilty that I'm not doing it, if that makes sense. Like, um, so I just... I don't know. So I just wanted to journal about my break and I just wanted to journal that, you know, breaks are okay and you got to relax and then come back when you're, when you're good, you know, right? So that's what I'm doing. And I'm, and I'm back. Like I'm not, I haven't not posted a video. It's just long ratios of time in between just because of, I got to put the, I got to, I got to film the video in my, in my spare time, which I don't really have much of. And then I have to edit the video in my spare time, which I also don't have much of. And then I had to do this voiceover, which I also don't have really much time for, but I didn't go to school today, so we're good. Um, but I don't want YouTube to feel like an obligation or like a job. It's for fun for me, so yeah, that's what I've just been trying to tell myself. So anyways, okay, so moving on. This was actually a week ago, this day, was our grad bash, which is like the senior field trip. Um, and so for 2021, for our senior class, we went to Universal, which was so much fun. I would, I'm just, I'm just really, really happy about it. Um, and a lot of people didn't go, which is actually surprising. It was really fun. And the only complaint I would have, actually, I have two complaints. The only two complaints I will tell you is that I got sick after every ride. So that kind of sucks, made me feel very weak and not like a kid because I, I needed to like to take Advil after like every ride so um but that's the complaint I'll have to make during that day and then also we got there at like 10 30 which is really late um we were supposed to get there at like 9 9 30 or something we got there later and it was frustrating that we didn't get inside until like 11 so then it was just it was just it was a slow slow start but um yeah, so we, I went on Hulk for the first time. Um, we got to go to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. We got the park hopper pass. We got we got both parks. Um, we got a reusable cup, and then um, we got a free meal that actually came with a lot for only $100. Literally, that's the best deal you could get, and a lot of people pass that up for, I don't even know, skipping or going to school. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of you know, ugh, really, so it was really fun, and I have no complaints other than how late we got there, and my headaches, so anyways, so I, uh, yeah, we went on Hulk, went on, um, Transformers, went on Mummy, we went on, we went on as much as we could in the time, it was very busy, the lines were so long, oh my gosh, it, it was a Wednesday, it was so weird how busy, you know, Universal will get, it's like everyone has a mentality of like, let's go today because no one's going to be there. No. Yeah. So 
I took my universal ticket, I cut that up, and then I stuck that inside as a little embellishment. And then on a on a, uh, a thank you card from a Felicity Jane order, I stuck in some more pictures that Sebastian and I took. So the bottom picture is the group that I had, my group, and then um, the card has pictures of me and Sebastian. So, um, And I made us some shirts for our group that say Senior 2021 um, Pandemic Style. They actually came out really good. I'm proud of myself. And um, Sebastian helped me a lot. So I would say that we made it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was, a, it was a really fun day. And it was actually a really nice day. Um, I thought it was going to be rainy. I thought it was going to be like super duper hot. It was like perfect. It was, it was really good. So it was a good day. It was a good day. Um, so anyways, that's just my spread for that day. And that cute little graduation cap and the 2021 is from Hobby Lobby. They have a couple of graduation uh, stickers and stuff. So, yeah, I thought they were cute, so I stuck it in. Then I'm just tipping in the little thank you card. Tip in, whatchamacallit. So, yeah, you guys see my tabs, my uh, March, April tab right there. I, I really like that I did that because it's really easy to just flip through and be able to see <clears throat> how much I journaled for each month. April is probably going to be the smallest, but that's okay. <laughs> what am I saying? What else am I doing? I'm just getting out some sticker books and I'm filling up some gaps. I, I did put those pink hearts, but I ended up covering them with regular hearts just because of, I don't know, I thought the pink was way too bright for the spread. So I just covered some of them with stickers. So that's what I did. And I printed those pictures on my Canon selfie. That's why they're really good quality. Um, if you guys don't have a Canon selfie and you guys have thinking, you've been thinking of getting one, get it. It's a really, really, really good purchase because I don't use it every time I print pictures and it comes with a lot in the package. So it's, it's a good deal. But anyways, those are my spreads and this video was really fast, but I really enjoyed talking to you guys. Have a good one.